Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to study about multiplication of floating point number, right? In the last video lecture, we have done the multiplication, Booth's multiplication algorithm, right? In which multiplication of were done, uh, multiplication of integer numbers were done, right? So in this, we are going to uh, multiply two floating point number, right? So how it will done, right? So basically, if we say, suppose uh, I'm having one number, a into 2 raised to a and b into 2 raised to b form right this is in the binary form right so suppose let us take an example of uh, integer number right uh, sorry decimal number right so suppose i am having 0.13 into 10 square and 0.23 into 10 cube right now if you want if i want to perform the addition of this two numbers so addition would be right i have to align the uh, align the exponent right if both the exponents are same right so i have to convert this number into 0 0.013 into 10 cube and 0.23 into 10 cube right so now i can add that is it's a 0 0.243 into 10 cube this is the answer of addition right in a floating point addition that is also we have uh, already done in the previous video lecture right so in the floating point addition what we do first of all we compare the exponent and then on the basis of that exponent we chose any one of the exponent and on the basis of that we align the mantissa right now this is for the addition purpose right now if i want to multiply this two number right so 0.13 into 10 square and 0.23 into 10 cube so ultimately for both of this mantissa i have to multiply right and this multiplication is done in a same way in which i am multiplying the integer number right i can take booth's multiplication algorithm or any other algorithm to multiply two integer numbers right now what about this exponent part right this is my mentee part but what about the exponent part so if i am multiplying so at that time the exponent part will be added right so ultimately it's a 2 a 10 raised to 2 plus 3 that is 10 raised to 5 right and here i will get the answer of the multiplication of this both two numbers right so what we have to do right that uh, we have to multiply the mentisa right on this uh, normal basis right and we have to add the components uh, of exponents right add the exponents right that is a basic thing right and one more thing if one of my number is zero right any one of the number zero if my a is equal to zero or a b is equal to zero then my result is zero only right so what we are going to do we compare it in a four step first that is check for zero right so any one of the if my multi, uh, multiplier or multiplicand any one of the either of uh, either multiplicand or multiplier is zero then my answer is directly zero and we terminate the operation that time only right if they are not zero then we are adding the exponents right so that in this way so 10 is to 2 and 10 is to 3 2 plus 3 that is 10 is to 5 right but actually this is in the decimal form in a computer it will be done in the binary form it will be in this kind of form a into 2, two raised to a and b into 2 raised to b right then what we are doing we are going to do multiply the mentisa right that is our basic algorithm which we have already seen right and then ultimately at the last we are normalizing the product whatever answer i am getting i am normalizing that product right now we'll see the flowchart of this now this is the flowchart of multiplication of floating point number right so what i am having first of all my multiplicand in br register and my multiplier in qr register right now what we are going to do first of all we are checking for the zero right if uh, multiplier or multiplicand any one of them are zero then directly the result is zero right so first of all we are checking the br right if br is equal to zero right then what we are doing we are assigning the accumulator that is zero right and 
uh, terminate the entire process right that is end and my product is in AC right if my BR is 0 BR means my multiplicand right then if BR is not equal to 0 then what we have to do we have to check for the QR right now for the QR if again QR is equal to 0 right then again my answer is 0 right and this will terminate the process if QR is not equal to 0 means none of my uh, none of my element right either my multiplier or multiplicand none of them are zero right both are any number non-zero number right then I have to perform the multiplication right so first of all what I am doing I have to after checking the zero what I have to do that is I have to uh, add the exponent right that is a basic thing right so suppose my exponent that is for QR my exponent is in a Q right and from BR my exponent is in a B right so ultimately what we are doing we are adding A plus B because I am assuming that it is in a A right so first of all I have to transfer this Q the value of the exponent uh, from QR that is multiplier that is for in Q I have to transfer it to A right so what I am doing I am transferring uh, the value from Q to A now what I have to perform already the exponent of multiplicand that is in the register B only right. So I have to perform A plus B right. Q already I have transferred in A so I have to perform A plus B and again store this one in a A right. So A plus B and A plus B and again I am storing it in a A right. Now here what I am doing here I am uh, subtracting the bias number right. Now why the, uh, this is important. Right, because in a single precision of floating point number, if I am having a single precision floating point number, you get the 8 bits, right, in which to store the exponent. For storing the exponent, we are getting the 8 bit, right. Now, instead of storing it as a sine 2's complement number, we have to store it like... Uh, uh, normally we store it in a sine 2's complement number right but if it is a negative number right so it was decided that uh, it would be easier to just add 127 127 that is called as a bias number right 127 is called as bias number for a single precision floating point number right I'm not talking about double precision number for the single precision number right so that bias number is 127 right so what we need to do we need to add the 127 to the exponent right so uh, why that is 127 only because the lowest number in a 8 bit number that is minus 127 right so for that we need to add this bias number 127 right and just store it as an unsigned number right instead of sign number what I am doing I'm adding this 127 to the exponent right and after adding this what I need to do that I have to prefer like I have to treat it as a unsigned number right so that is basically done in all the exponent that is already done right now if it is done right now how we can go through this though if the stored value is greater than the bias right if whatever value I'm having in a A that is greater than the bias that means what that I am having the positive exponent right and if the value in A that is uh, lower than the bias that is lower than 127 right that means I'm having negative number right as my exponent right and if it is equal to 127 that means what I am having the exponent as 0 right getting this so if that is already done over here whenever I am store uh, whenever it is stored in a system in a computer system the floating point number whether it is a signed number but we are treating it as an unsigned number right so for that what we have done uh, what already done is uh, 127 is added to each and every exponent right to treat it as a unsigned number right so what uh, here what happened that if I am adding two numbers that means A is already having 127 plus whatever value it's having plus 127 that is added in A right B is also having a data whatever value it is having plus 127 that is a bias value 
right now if i add a plus b if i do a plus b that means the value of a plus the value of b plus 127 and plus 127 that means here we are getting double biased value right and that is not true that is not true for example let us take an example that i am having uh, 10 raised to 3 right that is uh, my uh, a 10 raised to a and as a 10 raised to b i am having 10 raised to uh, 2 right that means a is having 3 but to treat it as an unsigned number that is 3 plus 127 that is 130 right then b that is 2 plus 127 right that is 129 right now if i add a plus b right that means what that 130 plus 129 that is 95259 right that is 259 now if i want to uh, know the actual answer that is actual exponent so i have already added 127 so i have to subtract 127 right so if i subtract 127 from here that is 259 minus 127 that is 132 right that is 132 right but my actual answer is 5 right so that is 127 plus 5 so this number i am having extra right because as already i have all here i have discussed that is it's a double biased value right so what we need to do we have to minus one biased value right so a a minus bias bias value is 127 so we are subtracting this 127 from a that means already here a plus b 259 is stored in a so before getting the answer i am subtracting 259 minus 127 that is 132 as my a right so whenever i want the answer the answer is 132 and if i want the actual answer that is 132 minus 127 that is 5 and in this way i got the correct answer right so this step is important that we need to minus the bias and this is the logic behind this why we need to minus the bias right now my exponents are ready right already summation is done bias are minus right so my exponents answer are ready right now what about the mentisa right so multiply the mentisa here uh, multiplication is done in a normal way according to any uh, integer multiplication algorithm right you can use boots algorithm or any other multiplication algorithm of the integer one right so this is similar way that is simply multiply mentisa right now after multiplying the mentisa right we have to normalize the result right so we are checking a1 right whether a1 is equal to 1 if the a1 is equal to 1 that my result is already normalized right if a1 is equal to 1 then my result is already normalized and i am getting whatever answer that is in a ac right but if a1 is not equal to 1 and if a1 is equal to 0 that means my result is not normalized right so i have to normalize it right so for normalizing it what i have to do i have to perform the left shift right shl shl aq that means i have to perform the left shift and if i perform the left shift so with this left shift i'll get different answer in mentisa so for that mentisa i need to subtract one from my exponent because i'm doing the left shift if i'm doing the right shift then i have to add one to my exponent but here what i'm doing i'm doing the left shift that means i am subtracting uh, minus uh, 1 from my exponent right and at the end we'll get the product in our ac right accumulator will hold the actual answer right i hope you all are clear about this floating point multiplication right thank you